Yeah, me too. I got nothing. <laughs> you want to get just straight into the episode? Boom. Bam. Let's get into it. Yeah, first this first ad. ad is sent to us by Tyson Carey Brinicombe. This is a El Degas guitar. Uh, it says 60s El Degas Strat modified body dragon paint with case. Uh, $200. This was was this this couldn't have originally been a strap body. It looks like it was originally a strap body, but then it ah uh, yeah I see what you're saying. I don't know because like it looks the, like the butt end would is a lot fatter than it should be. Yeah, it's really it's weird. It's so mangled; it's hard to tell. Honestly, uh, this is your classic sixty cycle hum bottle opener guitar here. Yeah, where someone cut just an yeah. awful shape into it. Where if it was the correct size, you could definitely open a bottle with this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we even describe the, the shape? It it's looks a, like a, a friggin' spaceship. It's a strap body, but the top and the bottom horns were cut off, almost going for like a Vox. Like teardrop shape. They were, you know what it reminds me of is it reminds me of something Ovation would have done. Yeah, it's kind of Ovation y, uh, but then like a giant like earwig pincher shape is cut out of from the butt of the guitar where like the, the, the bottom strap button yeah. would usually be. Yeah. Uh, almost in like a weird like insect like flying V sort of setup. But it looks like the body was extended out from the armrest in some way, like someone added wood in some sort of creative fashion to make it fatter, make it wider. And then of course, uh, kind of a stranded, the standard strap pick guard here, uh, with a three pickup loadout with three. Yeah. There's a knobs, there's just a whole lot of purple and a and... strat, uh, output jack. Yeah. Let's get to the finish. It's like this pur- it's metallic purple. purple, pink spray paint with a green dragon on it. Yeah. Uh, the, you, at this point, you're probably already looking at the photo that's in the episode description. This thing is bananas. Yeah. It's just totally bananas. B A N A. I knew you were going to do that. I knew it. It's just a reason. I got to call my bookie. He's got to pay out for me now that you did that because um, I bet money you. Know, on a friend you. of ours uh, posted a thing the other day that was like, what, what are phrases that you hear that automatically trigger... Um, Songs, right? And that's I think that's definitely what bananas saying like this is bananas. Hmm. That's cool, I guess. Yeah. See, yeah. Well, what killed, was yours? Was it was your was your stop? Uh, I forget what mine was, but then after I said it, I I thought of like three ones that would be better. Yours was like was like nine one one. Nine one one is a joke, Steve. <laughs> and uh, so, anyways, this yeah. thing has like a. Uh, like an arrow shaped headstock <laughs> with more of this pink purple paint on it. I was very confused Maple by the thumbnail board. of this because I thought the star was part of the guitar. It looks like the person who was behind the mangling <laughs> of this guitar was also behind a custom uh, guitar wall hanger that honestly looks like it's probably bad for guitars. I mean, as as weird as this guitar looks, like I feel like if this was in funk, uh, was in like Parliament. Oh yeah, like, you'd just be like, yeah, whatever. No big deal. Oh, that was another cool moment from Nam. I know this oh, isn't yeah. a Nam recap, but but uh, Bootsy Collins was walking around, and as we were leaving Saturday night, we walked. We were walking by like a tour bus, and all of a sudden, Bootsy Collins and his whole crew unloaded right in front of me and started walking the direction I was going. I was literally an arm's length away from the back of Bootsy Collins, and I was like in the middle of his crew. Yeah. Like his posse. It's like we were part of his crew. It was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. I'm but pretty yeah, I could sure totally I'm at least thirteen percent funkier now. I feel a lot funkier. Yeah, but you are already like zero percent. So yeah, I need to go from zero to one percent as an infinite. It in might not increase. even be one percent, but I'm definitely like a thousand times funkier than I was before. <laughs> uh, but this guitar, I could definitely see uh, someone playing within vicinity to. Uh, to all those guys, yeah, whether it be yeah. Bootsy Collins or George Clinton, any of the Parliament Funkadelic, this guitar would fit right in. Uh, pretty, pretty weird. I bet it plays just as fine as this guitar did before it was mangled. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there a price on this? Two hundred dollars? Hell no. 
Hell no. no. You wouldn't do two hundred dollars? No, hell no. How do you know it's not awesome? Because it started out as an off-brand strat, anyways. Whatever brand El de Gas is, I've never heard of it. He claims it's from the '60s. There's, I have no idea. I really doubt this is from the '60s. Mm. I'm gonna guess late '70s at best. I mean, El de Gas was like an old brand. I don't was know I've old. never heard of it. Well, I was looking it up, but you distracted me. Well, look, keep looking it up, Steve, and we'll find out together. Uh, this might be, if it is like an older guitar, this might be worth picking up for uh, like an even hundro just to uh, harvest kind of vintage pickups out of it. Yeah. If those are the original pickups. It looks like they were uh, from the 70s. Yep. That was my gut. My gut reaction is that this came from a 70s guitar just based on kind of like the way the fretboard looks. Right. It doesn't, like I'd expect a, like a, a 60s Strat knockoff to have more of a harder edge, look mm. to the edge of the fretboard. Yeah, I see what And like saying. a thinner fretwork to it. Yeah. This is a 70s thing. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got anything else on this? I don't. It's ugly. Go look at the pictures in the in the description in the episode uh, description. You know what I mean. Yeah. It's all on Imager. You can find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we want to tackle this?